Daddy Issues is an indie film about a 19-year-old queer pixie artist named Maya who spends her days working on her art and cyber-stalking her online crush, the sexually fluid fashion designer Jasmine. One night Maya meets Jasmine in real life, they hit it off and the two begin a passionate romantic relationship that gives Maya her first taste of true love and gives Jasmine the inspiration she needs to jumpstart her career. It's all hunky-dory until Maya discovers that Jasmine is also involved in another relationship with a secret neurologist sugar daddy. What started out as a dream come true will quickly turn sour for all three parties involved. This is a quirky little indie film that mostly plays out as you would expect. It turns out that Jasmine's sugar daddy, who's named Simon, is none other than Maya's estranged father whom she hasn't seen and hasn't kept in touch with for six years. That's exactly the amount of time that Jasmine and Simon have been together. So this whole love triangle is a lot more complicated than it initially seems. We get to find this out pretty early on in the film, but the characters however don't get to find this out until much later. The beginning of this film was a little off-putting for me. There's a lot of quirky editing, a lot of dancey music, and a lot of scenes that are stretched out a little bit more than they should be in this otherwise incredibly short film. But once it is revealed just how screwed up this whole situation is, the film actually finds its footing. The, the pace seems to pick up, and you get the sense that things are starting to happen, and things are in motion. And what happens is that Maya, by entering Jasmine's life, and by re-entering her father's life, will actually shake the foundation of all three of their lives and will actually force all three of them to mature and to finally face reality. It's a pretty straightforward indie drama that, like I said, more or less plays out as you would expect. It touches upon themes like family, sexuality, and relationship dynamics, and also on something quite interesting that one critic pointed out as being the Electra Complex, which, if I understand correctly, and it's a little bit too complicated for my dumbass, but in Freudian psychology, it's a girl's psychosexual competition with her mother for the possession of her father. Basically a competition for the opposite sex parent that, if left unresolved in the early stages of life, can lead to a fixation. Can lead to a girl to become a woman who continually thrives to dominate men. Either by becoming an unusually seductive woman with high self-esteem, or an unusually submissive woman with low self-esteem. And when we read the film through this lens, it suddenly becomes incredibly interesting indeed. Because Maya actually hates her mother, and she has every single right to hate her. Her mother is incredibly unpleasant, self-centered, immoral, insincere, who someone who just shows zero respect for her daughter, and it's actually revealed that she is the one responsible for inhibiting Maya's father, Simon, uh, and for in contacting her and sending her money. And when Maya actually finds out, this pushes her even more in wanting to, to get closer to her father. Maya is that girl who became the unusually submissive woman with the low self-esteem. She also is only attracted to girls, she makes it clear that she identifies as being gay and only that, and most probably monogamous while Jasmine is the girl who became the unusually seductive woman with the high self-esteem. She has no problem sleeping with either gender, having multiple relationships at the same time, and she does all of this without having the need to, to label herself as being either bisexual or polyamorous or anything like that. She nevertheless feeds off the people she is in relationships with uh, for her own personal gain. And this is where the daddy and the issues in this film called Daddy Issues come into play. Because you see, Simon is the sort of sugar daddy who likes to treat Jasmine as his little girl. He likes her to dress up as a little girl and likes her to talk to him as if he were her daddy. Pretty weird stuff. So, and the two girls, who are lovers themselves, are actually, without them realizing it, either of them, are competing for this parent figure of the opposite sex, uh, while on the other hand, the father and daughter are competing themselves for the sexually charged Jasmine, who herself is not necessarily competing for anything, she just takes these two for granted and uses both of them for her own personal gain. So I actually ended up really liking this film. I thought the dynamic was very interesting, and I thought the acting was absolutely absolutely phenomenal. These are no-name actors who are just absolutely killing it in this film. So I, I really recommend it. My question to you guys would be, what are some of your films about love triangles? Hmm? Really curious to know about your answers. Don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And what can I say, folks? I hope I'll see you later in other reviews. Until then, people, stay cool, stay awesome, and goodbye.